This is a, a little view video of Lakeside Park 26. 2695. 2695 Mary Jane Court off of Karen here in Lakeside Park, Kentucky. And uh, we'll walk you through here. Okay. All right, we are starting our tour by going down to the basement, down the steps to the basement. And uh, as you can see, the basement floor has been cleaned and painted. It has a kind of a battleship gray color to it now. And the walls have been cleaned and sealed and painted white. And here is uh, a furnace. Furnace is, was installed by uh, Rusk Heating and Air Conditioning. It's about four years old but it's a high efficiency furnace. And here's the uh, water heater. The water heater is fairly new. It's about uh, three years old probably. It's a ream uh, electric uh, uh, water heater. Over here's the um, connection for the dryer, electric dryer or a gas dryer, either one can be included. And then, of course, the back door. Here's the uh, automatic washer hookup and the tub here coming around to the wall of the uh, bathroom here. The basement is, is semi-finished. Coming around, uh, looking into the bathroom here in the basement. It has two doors. Uh, and of course, there it was. There was a dividing wall right here in the middle, coming up to the wall right here. So there's two uh, shower and uh, lavatory and commode for the bathroom. Here's on the other side of it, looking through the other door and uh, into the bathroom with the basement window. Then coming back into the basement, here is a work area. Just bumped my head. Work area in the back corner uh, of the uh, house. And then coming back around, here is a wall of a bedroom that's been installed. And I'll come back around here with the steps and take a look at the bedroom. And the bedroom uh, is <clears throat> has been redone. It it does it is the center of the basement floor painted gray, and it's a, a kind of a square bedroom, probably oh twelve by twelve, something like that. But it is finished, and uh, and of course has a door for privacy here in the in the uh, uh, basement. So we're going to go uh, to the uh, back up to the upstairs now, and back up the steps, and you know, kind of panoramic view of the ba uh, bathroom and and the area where the uh, uh, tub and hookup for the washer, back to the area the hookup for the dryer, the water heater behind the furnace there, and then the furnace itself. So let's come back to going upstairs. And as we go up the stairs, we can look into the bathroom on the first floor with a tile floor that's new and a lavatory and the tub that's been refinished. And then uh, new uh, faucets here for the bathroom. Coming back outside, we'll go into the, here's the closet at the end of the hall. Going into the smaller bedroom, here's a new floor that's been installed. Of course, everything's been newly repainted. Uh, double hung windows, uh, double pane glass, and uh, this is the view out the window toward Caring Drive, and also here, the back of the house 
Ford Karen drive as well. So coming around, oh, new light fixtures have been installed all over. And coming back around to the front bedroom now, master bedroom, and it has a, a new floor that's been installed on it and new light fixtures and a new paint job. New uh, uh, registers been installed throughout the house. So here's a closet for the bedroom here. And uh, then coming back around to the hallway, looking into the small bedroom, turning and looking up the hall toward the kitchen. This floor in the kitchen is a uh, vinyl uh, waterproof floor uh, and the cabinets have been redone and uh, the stove of course stays the refrigerator stays here in the kitchen uh, looking out the kitchen toward the little shed uh, it has uh, been re leveled and re-supported inside and it will have a new um, metal white metal uh, sheeting on the outside here in the next few days the patio outside the house and then looking at the back of the house uh, we have a ramp coming into the house and of course then here's the steps going down to the basement on the outside here's the backyard of course and then if I, I'll just come out and here's of course the patio and the and the uh, little building and looking down the driveway here uh, the air conditioning system and, and uh, here's lava rock down by the side of the driveway in the house and the lines go to within five feet of that house that you see and here in the back side they go to five feet of this house next door. So it's a corner lot here uh, on, at 2695 Mary Jane Court. Going back into the house, into the kitchen, uh, we'll move through the kitchen back into the living room now. And this of course is the main living room of the house and uh, again, new floor, new paint job, new registers. And uh, uh, here's the landing with the closet, of course, on the inside here. This is a secondary uh, pipe for air conditioning going to the upstairs. The original air conditioning just did not air cool enough, so I had the secondary pipe put in to increase the amount of air going upstairs. Here's the uh, landing going upstairs. It's been refinished. Polyurethane uh, surface on it. By the way, <clears throat> the flooring that you see here is oak. <clears throat> and the entire house has this solid oak flooring underneath the floors that are installed right now. So coming upstairs, and <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> looking straight into the bathroom up here. It's a small bathroom, but uh, it does the job. Here's uh, the lavatory, and of course the, the, the vanity coming around to the commode area and then to a shower area that's here included in the bathroom. Uh, Coming out and into the hallway, looking into the larger of the two bedrooms upstairs. This is a, a quite large bedroom. It has a new floor on it, a new paint job, new light fixtures have been installed. One of the main closets upstairs with a, a storage area back behind it. And then coming back to the room, over here is a little storage unit on the knee wall at the side. And then here's a secondary closet that actually I made for my wife uh, back many years ago. 
and uh, it was mainly for her clothing and for her uh, shoes and so forth. Kind of a private closet there. And coming back, looking <clears throat> back now toward the Karen Road, uh, Karen Drive side of the house, through the hallway into beyond the bathroom, beyond the steps coming up stairs, and coming into the small, smaller of the two bedrooms, which is not small at all. It's the same width, but not quite as uh, long. Here's again the storage area in the knee wall to the uh, back side of the house, coming around to the Karen Road Drive side of the house, Karen Drive, uh, looking out on Karen Drive here from the upstairs, and then, of course, coming around back into the building, back into the house. Here's the uh, uh, front side of the bedroom. Here's the secondary uh, uh, air conditioning that I referred to that, uh, that gives additional amount of air up here and keeps the upstairs temperature just about the same as the downstairs temperature. Here is closet area with a storage area going in behind there. Uh, and then of course coming on around, uh, everything has been newly painted and uh, new floors throughout the house. Uh, so uh, uh, just to show you again the larger of the two bedrooms upstairs and then turning toward the stairway going downstairs and uh, getting down the stairs here into the main uh, living room area of the house and of course coming to the front uh, entrance to the house looking outside at the uh, Mary Jane Court side of the house. Here's uh, uh, everything has been newly repainted out here. Uh, the paving stones with the lava rock uh, for the walk going out to the driveway. Uh, the shrubbery has been uh, installed for oh, about four years and uh, it's uh, been newly trimmed here recently. So this pretty well shows you the house looking at the yard and out onto Karen Drive and then here is Mary Jane Court and going down to our driveway and on down the street. To, uh, uh, I'm sorry? Walk on down and film the house. Do what? Walk on down and film the house. Okay, all right. All right, move on down the steps to the driveway and we'll come out to the yard, side yard, and the little storage building. By the way, the storage building, uh, I have to just keep it and, and repair it. If I tear it down, the city won't let me install another one. Uh, I would have long ago put up a new one if they would have allowed that. But as long as we have this and keep it up and repair it, uh, we can keep it. But if it's ever taken down, uh, not another one can be reinstalled. Here is the side of the house, uh, looking at, at it from uh, uh, the side opposite uh, Karen Drive. What you see across the front of the house is Karen Drive, and then of course down here is Mary Jane Court. And I'll move down to the end of our driveway to get a view of the house uh, from this angle. Coming around to the house, here's the uh, view of the house here uh, from uh, the entrance to the driveway from Mary Jane Court. And just give you a panoramic view from the corner of the property on Karen Drive, coming up and around and getting a view of the house and coming on around to the side, uh, the area at the back of the house with the little patio and the small storage building that's there. Then the neighbor's house and looking on down uh, to the end of Mary Jane Court. 
as you can see it's a very short street and dead ends right there this is a very secluded area and it's a location that is very close to uh, uh, getting on I-275 and then on to 75 and 71 it's very close to the St. Elizabeth Edgewood Hospital it's about eight minutes from the Florence Mall it's about <clears throat> 12 to 15 minutes from the Cincinnati Airport or the Northern Kentucky Greater Cincinnati Airport and it's about uh, oh, 15 minutes from downtown uh, Cincinnati. It's about uh, 12 to 15 minutes from Northern Kentucky University uh, taking I-275, which is just at the end of Karen Drive within sight when you get to the end of Karen Drive. So this is a tour of the property at 2695 Mary Jane Court Lakeside Park, Kentucky. And if you're interested in this property, call us at 859-750-0000. John Stevenson, Realtor Broker. Member of the Board of Realtors for 45 years. And look forward to showing you through the place here in Lakeside Park, this prime piece of property here, close to everything. And uh, a good place to call home here in Lakeside Park. That's Dr. John Stevenson, 750-0000, area code 859. Our email address is smalljsmalls j small s 750-0000 at gmail.com or join us on Facebook, John Stevenson, John A. Stevenson, Facebook. And friend us on Facebook. God bless you and have a great day. Give us a call. Okay. I couldn't even see you there with the sun, so I'm, I hope I got you. <laughs> well, it's hard to see with that sun as bright as it is. <laughs> well, you got time to buy you lunch? Well, we can stop. I can't. I can't. It's a bowl of soup. Okay. Where can we get soup? Uh, you want to just go down to to Christmas down here? Uh, where's Frisch's at? Uh, well, down at the end of uh, um, Three Owl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right down there at Frisch's. Right, see you down there then. Okay. Uh, did we lock up the back? I locked the back and then I locked the front on the way out. So I thought, okay. So well, well, everything's well just, locked up. Yeah, and I left one little light on in there because I okay. thought it would be a good idea. Okay. The little hall light. Okay. That's good, John. Thank you. I'll call you a realtor assistant. <laughs> I tell, I'll tell June. Well, Gil got, you, Gil got you out of doing this. <laughs>